Alberto Guitares, he's known as the Stone Man. He's called that way because he spent his whole life uh, carving stones in his backyard. He's living in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it's just a very fascinating person that you can kind of track down if you have the right people next to you because it takes a bit of time to find him. Um, and you're gonna see that in, in, in the next couple of uh, minutes. So let's join in for that. All right, so this is the, the first kind of, uh, yeah, part of the trip. Um, it's near Esteli. It's an area in Nicaragua and it's, yeah, it's kind of a rural area. So it's not too much stuff going on there. And I was going there with a couch surfer and without the couch surfer, I would have had no chance to find him at all. I think find him is not easy. Like even with the locals, it was not easy to find them. But um, eventually we got to the right spot. Uh, this is the way to his finca. And you kind of walk down into the valley a bit um, to hopefully find his house. And this is the house. That's actually the official name. I don't think you will get a lot of results if you Google that thing, because it's 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 just not a very popular tourist destination. Galeria Escultadas en Piedras. Piedra means rock. And that's the big uh, buzzword here for Alberto, because Alberto, he's a rock carver and uh, at the time I met him, exactly five years ago from now, from today in 2020, he was 75. So now he, he's uh, 80 years old already. And um, that's a little book that you can sign in. <coughs> I was number 61 in that month or year. I'm not sure if it's month or year or even day. It looks like day actually. It looks like the day started here. So it was in January 2015. And yeah, this is him. A really interesting looking person and basically you go and see him and then he's going to show you his uh, his area and he spent the last 50 years of his life carving stones and you're going to see some pictures later so this is just the warm-up yeah this is doesn't look that's a snake it doesn't look too fancy yet but uh it's it's gonna get uh, really really cool um so he has all sorts of things that he's using to to carve the stones from um uh, and what this is actually i'm not i can't remember so everything is kind of related to stuff in his area so you can see a tree here that's a house probably a church with the two towers um so he's telling a story about his local area essentially um this is the jaguar you can see the jaguar and those are work uh, things he's done in a very fast manner. Later on, we will see some other dimensions and you will see the, like, oh God, there's like the elephant. I think he spent like 10 years working on that alone. He also got a lot of pineapple growing everywhere. Did you know that pineapple are growing actually kind of from the ground and not from a tree hanging down? They're growing up. Um, this, these are the tools. That's everything he's using. He doesn't use anything else than a stone and his carving tools. And all the things that you're going to see in the next pictures, he did with these two things. And that's that's just mind blowing. And this is the elephant. So you have to imagine the rock was kind of here, I guess, at the beginning. And he carved everything away with this little tool without using any machine at all. And I think the elephant is one of his biggest accomplishments he's presenting it to us here he's always smoking so it's kind of funny and yeah that's just pretty impressive huh? um to carve this by hand and it's uh this is the start of the terrace as well so in the background you can see another tiger uh there's some benches for people to sit down as well that's a uh, armadillo um so there's stuff everywhere and he did everything by hand in the last 50 years yeah, his, his jeans area is quite big and then you get to this spot where you can actually have a nice view as well. And this is uh, one of the other highlights is his, his shrine uh, or altar, I think it was called. I can't remember exactly the, the names in Spanish, but all of this again carved with that one tool that I showed you in the beginning and it's just, it's mind blowing. It's really, really crazy. So. Uh, there we have him in full frame. Yeah, very interesting. Like I, 
I spoke uh, a few simple sentences with him, but as I said, my Spanish was not great. But the, the couch surfer, he, he was uh, talking to him quite a bit. And of course, taking some pictures for the memory with him. Oh man, do, do I look younger back then or do I still look the same? He's got one teeth tooth left. <laughs> uh, it was so cool to meet him. Uh, that's some spiky stuff on his stream. And in the end, uh, I gave him my sunglasses. <laughs> he took a picture with him using my sunglasses. Uh, he was um, well back then. Like that's what I meant. My videos were really shit back then. So I'm really gonna try. Like all the shaking, I'm gonna do a much better job going forward for my next trip around the world. But this is how he's doing it. It's just crazy. Look at this elephant. Just joined this. Where, where's the sea? Yeah, this is Nicaragua. It's uh, near Esteli. Yeah, he's explaining stuff in Spanish. We wouldn't understand anyway. But I think it's nice for you to see the video. So this is really in the middle of nowhere. It takes quite some effort to find it. Even with the help of a local couch surfer, it was not easy. But in the end, we found it. We were there completely alone. I think he had four other people in the morning. And um, yeah, back then it was it was really not easy to get a hold of him. <laughs> um, nowadays, maybe it's uh, more common to track him down. Maybe he completely got into, you know, I don't know. Maybe people don't go to him anymore at all. I really have no idea about the current state. But back in 2015, I went to see the Stone Man Alberto Guitares. <laughs>